Let's get into the game today. We do have some highlights against West Ham. We do have a match today in the cup, and we've got some scores to catch you up on. Hey guys, RC here. Episode 14 of our Journeyman Save with Football Manager 21. Let's check out some highlights from the West Ham match. Get uh, the throw in from Pascarello to Romain, tapped right back to him. He brings it into the zone, slides it into Graves, and he puts it home. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Daily content for Football Manager on the channel, Monday through Saturday. And there's Cernan with the goal, getting a header off the long throw. His 50th goal with the club. Great job for him. We're up 2-1. to one. And in the 80th minute, Mikatin off the bench. He slots one in past Robinson. Puts us up 3-0 over a struggling West Ham near or at the bottom of the Premier League table. They do get a near post uh, header. Late in the game, 91st minute, but we get the win three to one. Uh, let's jump into the schedule here after the uh win over Liverpool and Arsenal, the stunning episode that we had last episode. If you haven't seen that, you really ought to go check it out. Uh, we beat Leeds 2 0 in the FA Cup fourth round, goals from Luke Rowe and Eric Graves. They did have a player sent off in the 55th minute. Then we beat Cardiff 3-1, Eric Graves with a brace, and Robert Cernan with another goal. Rotherham beat us 2-1, Cernan scored in that one. Uh, then we came back and drew with Burnley, Cernan scoring again, and then a 4-3 defeat to Chelsea. Uh, Pascarello with a goal, Luke Rowe, and Eric Graves with goals. Then, of course, the West Ham game. We're going to be playing Lincoln in the FA Cup fifth round today. And I believe after the fifth round, we go to quarterfinals. Uh, this is going to be a home match. Should be a sellout, so we'll get a nice little crowd. Taking a look at finances, we are starting to bleed some money. We're down to 80, under $83 million. We are capped out on our monthly payroll, and I've had to adjust all of my transfer budget cost of doing business. Uh, two, two communications from the board. Uh, one, they did come in in this interlude of games and expand the transfer budget uh, or the wage budget by uh, about $400,000 a month. Uh, and you can see we're already doing that. And uh, we have moved off uh, a few players here at the end of January. So uh, we've loaned out a bunch of guys. Neil Evans leaves on a free. We sell Dilwyn Maxwell, a young striker, 130000 And Sylvester Robert, uh, another young player. I believe he's uh, 22 years old, a striker. He's not bad. I mean, he's actually, he looks good rating-wise. Yes, he was never going to be good enough to break into our side. So we sell him to Orlando for $4.2 million. And on the flip side of that, I think you saw everybody, uh, Pascarello, Rowe, and Fowler coming in in the winter transfer. Fowler, the huge center back signing. So let me get up to the next match, and we'll be right back for that. All right, we're on match day. Uh, the second thing that I mentioned just a minute ago uh, that the board reached out was they were concerned about losing me. They had announced this to the press because my contract is up this year. I don't recall getting a contract offer from them. So maybe it's them that want to lose me. This may be a short-term short, uh, short -term, uh, stay with this club if they don't want me here. Um, but following in Bielsa's path, Bielsa only signs one-year contracts. I haven't done that. But he doesn't like to sign or discuss his contract during the season. So... You know, he's always willing and uh, very willing and usually will put off any contract discussion until the uh, end of the season. They just don't like Cernan, man. I tell you what, my coach, he's got 19 and 27. No way in hell I'm not playing. 
Uh, let's see. Luke Rowe. I want Rowe in there. He's a good player. So uh, the other guys. So we've got a lot of injuries. Michael McNeil is out for two more months. Aaron Fowler is cup tied. Uh, he's already played in the competition, so we can't use him. And Melvin Gerber is out two more weeks. So we are a little strapped here. Uh, and because now we're playing the three at the back, some of our guys like Clark uh, are going to have to be playing out of position. Mensa has been moved to the bench. He is back from injury. I don't know how he's going to deal with that, but it is what it is. So again, just a reminder, at the end of this episode, I will be asking you guys a serious question. It'll be a serious question. Uh, it'll be a serious topic up for discussion. Not the end of the world. And it has nothing to do with, with you know, ending the channel or saves. or I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a serious geographical question. But anyway, let's get into the match here. They've got the first highlight, Lincoln City. Uh, they are in the championship. I believe they're sixth in the table. Gibbon comes out, makes the play on it, beating Griffiths to the ball. That is solid. Good ball out. Ice ball in, and Graves just beats the keeper at the near post. Number 31. And the fans are chanting Graves' name in front of a sold-out King Power crowd. Look, they've packed their way in, man. I tell you what. That's pretty impressive. They are parking the bus on us. A, a, a 3-5 three, three or a 5-3. And Ian Gomez on the pitch. His first goal of the season. That is huge. And he comes out of nowhere to score. Plotting in at that center back due to all the injuries. He's one of our younger players. So that is a huge thing for him to come on and score in a FA Cup match for us. I actually thought about starting El Batabi in this just to give him the match time. If I was going to do that, I probably should have played him in the earlier round. Pascarello gets around the defender, but keeper can't do anything there. Gomez whistled for the foul. Four shots, three on target, two in the net. Only a 0.34 XG with two goals coming from it. Panic, that's a great name. Look at the ball distribution there. Pascarello into the box. Four, four finishing. Good half, though. Call that a good half. Uh, don't get complacent. Hopefully that motivated them. Let's encourage them. Wheel with the interception just near the kickoff. That doesn't happen a lot. Nagami, that was poor. Not... Big fan. That effort there, uh, Nagami. That could be a reason enough to pull you off. I mean, there's there's competition for your spot. Oh, my goodness. And Griffiths, what a finish. 14th goal of the season for him. And he puts it right across the face of the goal, Gibbon. Can't get to it. That's a finish to be proud of. We're playing well. Actually, you know what? Nagami's playing a 6-3. He is not tired, but I am going to yank him. Let's put Mateus in, our young wonder kid. Would like to get him some more playing time. Normally, ooh, taken down hard in the box. Again, the no foul button must have gotten pushed somewhere. I don't know where that is in the settings. If you guys know, let me know, because we've seen a lot of fouls and just nothing, nothing getting called, which means we're going to get whistled for a penalty here later in the game, no doubt. All right, Pascarello. 
with the throw. Good throw in. W were we not off sides there? He had to have been off sides. Yep, linesman hasn't moved. That's going to be whistled back. Fractionally off sides. Do you guys ever get that little pop up on your iPhone for your screen time? How many, you know, if you're up or down per se? Yeah, we were barely off. Uh, up or down for the week and how many hours you spent on it? Five hours and 27 minutes a day for the last. Um, you know, you sit there and you go, wow, that's that's a lot. But I was listening to a guy talk about a week and a half ago. Not a good finish there by Pascarello. He's, he's getting tired. I'm going to sub him off to try somebody else out there. Let's bring on Menza. I tell you what, if Menza can be more creative, which we know he can be creative, uh, he may get that spot back. Ascarello's a really good player, but if you're not going to really contribute, I can pull you off. Oh, I just noticed I hadn't moved my microphone when I started recording. In my old location, I didn't have to, but here I have to move it to get in and out of the desk seating area. So um, I need to remember to do that, and I forgot. So now you may hear me a lot clearer, and I apologize. Good goal. Mensa headed it in, got it back, and then plays it in to Wheel, who knocks it down to Cernan, and he scores. So. Good effort by Menza to get us on the board. It's now three to one. And I think we're ready to make our last sub here. I just saw two of our center backs go tired. Do I have anyone that can come on? And the answer is no. Uh, Mikaton. My problem with Mikaton now is where to play him. Because Romain is a natural... You know, he's better at, he can actually play central attack. And now with uh, with Menza back, I'm I'm too deep at the right back that are better than Mikaton. So I'm, I'm uh, honestly running out of room here. Let's bring him on for Graves. Graves is a little tired. Uh, if I had a center back, I'd bring one in here, but I don't. Don't have anybody, not even on the bench. In fact, I'm going to need to look at my U23s and see if I've got one there that can maybe be serviceable for emergencies. Good clearance. Very good job. 78th minute, Romain on the run. He's been left open, and he takes a crack. Looked like he forced a save, and we'll take a corner from that. Put in near post, headed back to him. Mateus, I think there was an offsides on Romain. Mateus hit it back to him too quick, gave him time to push out. They're really parking the bus on us here, aren't they? Eight defenders. Crazy. Now they've gone a little more attacking. Oh, uh, Gomez. Got beaten there. Luckily, the keeper was able to get to it. Cernan turns on it. He's in space. Brings it inside. Oh, poor effort at the finish. Should have done a little bit better than that. Four minutes of stoppage time. We get another corner. Headed out again. Now, oh, come on, Mateus. Be a little more aggressive there, kid. Mensa picked up a tight hamstring. We don't have any subs to make. He'll have to just nurse it through. There's Wheel. Payas. Thurnan's pretty far back here. Got to give him an outlet up there. Tackled away. Come on, boys. Uh, into Wheel. What a run. And right to him. But no, he was offsides. Final minute. Mensa heads it down, rose on the ball, 
through ball to Cernan. It bounces off the post. Oh. Oh, Mensa got hurt again. Now he's got a twisted knee. Wow. So he's been he's been hobbled with the hamstring. And now he's twisted his knee from running awkwardly. Let's get to the whistle, man. I need to get this guy off the pitch. He just came back from injury and just got back to full fitness recently. Header goes in near post. Gale with a good save. And there's the whistle. Let's hope that he is not hurt too bad. He actually played really well. Pascarillo played a 7-1. Mensa 7-3. So both of our guys playing well out there. Um, a good win. Well done. All right. And in irresistible force. What is that? Your team has scored a goal in 30 consecutive competitive matches. 34.4% of players have this achievement. So I'm one of the top 34% of players in the world. Sweet. That's what I'm going with, right? All right, we win the fifth round, dominant five to six days, and we pick up a good half million dollars. And, you know, hey, we're not in a position to turn our nose up at anything. So, tell you what, let's go ahead and do that. Still trying to get, <laughs> to get our wage bill in line. All right, so... Remember to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Daily Football Manager content. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.